I was working on Shinton D, I said, we need to ask ourselves every day what it means to be both modern and Chinese. One of my first answer was create Shinton D. And the first thing I was in was an alleyway with Shukaman. You know, these three stone door courtyard homes. I had just t come from Paris about a month before. I had taken a trip to Paris and I looked above the Shukaman door and there was a terracotta carving and it was exactly like the one I saw in Paris. And I said, why, this, this can't be. And my guide said, yes, that's, that was made by the French from a drawing the French provided. We're in the French concession. So at that moment, I knew I was standing in some, a very historical neighborhood. They have intrinsic character. And people from all over the world have never seen structures like this. So that was, part of making it world-class attraction. So there's a serious authenticity about Shen It's real. So I would walk through the flowers of Shanghai, all the neighborhoods, all the tree-lined streets, and I looked for, for clues. And I created the, um, there's two subway stations, and I did all the planning between them. And so the original idea was Hall of the Sun, Hall of the Moon, and uh, I can't remember the name of the last one the moon because you can look up at night and see the moon. In a shopping mall you can't look up at night and see anything. Every time I do an environment it has to be open air and it has to be open to the sky. You know the traditional Chinese courtyard is open to the sky and everyone that grew up in a courtyard home knows that that means you own that sky. That's your family's sky. So now this is my only office in the world. Um, you know, it's my city, you know, my dream. <laughs> I'm very happy that you call Shanghai my city. Yeah, well, it is. It uh, lives in me. But two things you never forget is your mother's face and the face of a city. So my mother is now passed on, but when I look at her pictures, I can see every part of my life. Her face never changes. Mm -hmm. Well, the face of Shanghai is, I'll never forget it. It's called Jonathan Livingston Seagull. And it was about a seagull who didn't want to sit around eating fish heads all day. So he decided he was going to fly higher and faster and farther than any seagull in the world had ever done. My hope is that people continue to see Shanghai a field of dreams a dream for the, a better city.